Audi cites a 0 to 62 mile per hour time of 4.7 seconds. We suspect that's conservative, and we think that the new S4 should get to 60 miles per hour about a half second quicker. Top speed is governed at 155 miles per hour. The S4 is powerful enough to charge into triple digit speeds with ease, but we wish it evoked a bit more emotion. The throttle response is not as immediate as it was on the outgoing supercharged car, and the engine soundtrack comes across as artificial. There are some slightly unpleasant mid range vibrations felt through the floorboard and the steering column, and the engine is clearly audible at idle but not in a way that suggests a high-performance powertrain. Moving the drive mode selector from dynamic to auto or comfort will quiet the S4, so effectively, in fact, that you would never imagine its performance potential. Yet it's strong, both in a straight line and in corners. The permanent all-wheel drive system is tuned to shove most of the torque to the rear wheels, and, especially when equipped with the optional rear sports differential and the dynamic steering system, the S4 becomes a truly agile performer that will take on a souped-up hot hatchback or pony car any time. How it may fare against the more natural analogs of a BMW 3 Series in imperformance to nor a Mercedes AMG C43 sedan must await our first opportunity to do full track testing. What we can add for now is that it is comfortable enough to soak up hundreds of miles without unduly stressing the driver and passengers. In Europe, the S4 comes with all the available assistance systems that are on the A4, albeit with a few tweaks, including the S4-specific screen with a central tachometer for the TFT gauge cluster. Outside, the S4 is differentiated from the A4 by its aluminum-accented rear-view mirrors, unique grille with double bars, and quad exhaust pipes. It's distinct enough from the A4. But the A4 itself is a disappointingly timid redesign, more than a few customers may have trouble distinguishing it from its predecessor. When the new S4 eventually reaches the US in early 2017, pricing should remain close to that of the outgoing model, which starts at $50,125 with the now discontinued manual transmission. While Mercedes sharpens its entry-level AMG 43 models, Audi says that its S cars will remain unchanged in their focus on balancing athleticism with daily drivability. It is no coincidence they are developed by Audi in Ingolstadt, rather than at Neckar somewhere the RS brain trust resides. Audi is staying on course, and the new S4 continues the tradition of being one of the most pleasant and understated performance sedans available. We'll be able to definitively tell if it's perhaps a bit too understated when we get to test a production model.